Hi nerds and welcome to Crofts 2023. I'm literally just sat in the car. Charlotte has just gone to pay for petrol. It is uh, 7.38 in the morning. Crofts opens at 8.15. We're about probably 15, 20 minutes away from the NEC at the moment. Really excited. It's really, really snowy. It's beautiful. The finish in me loves this. But less of the snow. Let's go. I can't wait. We're about 45 minutes behind schedule because we got stuck in traffic. Um, someone had had a collision on the M6, so that was fun. Um, it's quiet. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really quiet. I have got shot here, not yes. just me. <laughs> right, where should we go? Who, who do we want to find first? What? Yeah, let's do it. We have found alcohol. It's not even nine o'clock. So it's a large one. That's from two mm. or three nights, yeah. Yeah, we'll check that for ten minutes. Yeah, it's nice. That's really good. I'm guessing it's that one. Oh, not that one. I think it's this. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> We've just come to Simpsons and there's so many grooming tops. I'm gonna spend a lot of money here, I think. So I need some new tops. Very, very practical looking. Yeah, that is so pretty, and I don't mind that, that it's not blue either. You can't do Toby with pouring your face. <laughs> the button yeah. yeah, I might actually get that. shopping I have got well grooming I'm not gonna go through all my shopping in this vlog because I want to do another little video uh, so after this one goes live probably a week after I'll do like a crafts haul video so keep an eye on for that and I spent a lot of money already okay second proper stop you can just about see how I'm sleeping in the background I have got a bag full of goodies um, I got their shampoos last year at some point, but unfortunately with my Christie's contract, I couldn't do a review, so there's some shampoo in here, I'll pay you that much. So obviously Crofts is a dog show, and we've just stopped at one of the rings, and we're trying to work out what's happening because we're seeing like a working copper, which is not like a thing in the show ring, so we're trying to work out what is happening. And they're beautiful, really beautiful actual working dogs, uh, but yeah no clue what's actually going on okay so we have popped back to the wow grooming stand we're just watching leah from barking beautiful do a demo on her dog pearl pearl is actually a very famous poodle she's literally just done gucci and prada um she does like photo shoots film work everything and leah is very busy doing all of that so it's really really valuable watching a knowledgeable groomer groom poodles because we don't get to you know see a lot of them so this is just gold dust so we're just watching this demo and then probably gonna head to the main arena to watch agility and police dogs and all sorts so I'm gonna take you through there in a second so we've literally just left hall five and just to give you an idea of the scale of this place there's five halls and they are humongous um, back there there's show rings and then all of this is shopping this is why you bring lots of food with you lots of water comfy shoes and if you can come for several days We've made a pit stop, we found the massage chairs. We sat here for ages last year, they are so nice. And we are we are enjoying a bit of a break. We've been on our feet for several hours already, spoken to so many people. Just have a little break before we carry on.
we are just coming out of the main arena. We've been sat there for a couple of hours watching Agility and Flyball. Flyball gets so insanely loud. Um, headphone warning. I'm going to put a clip of one of the, the runs here so you can see what the atmosphere is like. It's incredible and I've lost my voice screaming at the fly ball and I'm not even really that into it. I just love the atmosphere, it's so great. But <laughs> yeah, Charlotte used to do fly ball and agility so she's well into that. She found her people in the audience and I was like, I, I don't understand anything of what they're saying. So I think we're still gonna pop into peanut and pickle and then call it a day. Charlotte got about 45 minutes of sleep last night. I didn't sleep that well myself. I think it sounds like a party in a but I wasn't. Oh yeah, hard, I yeah. my book, I just couldn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't even have one drink, promise. <laughs> so yeah, um, early night tonight I think, but peanut and people next. It is so beautiful. It's like a like a human skincare shop. It's so pretty. I actually need to put in a um, like a bulk order for the five liters while I'm here because uh, there's a really good show offer on. So I'm gonna spend some money. Oh wow, this light is terrible. Okay, never mind. Um, we've just got back to the hotel. Um, we had a long, long chat at the peanut and pickles done with Elliot. If you want to know anything about shampoos, honestly, oh, thank you. That's nice backlighting. <laughs> um, if you want to know anything about making shampoos, just what goes into shampoos, the whole process, go and have a chat with Elliot. That lad knows everything there is to know about shampoos. It's so nice to see that someone is so passionate about what they do. But in the morning, I paid for the uh, VIP goodie bag, so I picked that up. Uh, and I haven't actually looked into it at all. But annoyingly, because the, the main reason we got it for um, is the guide that shows what's on every day and all of that. Didn't even have it in there. So Charlotte <laughs> stormed over and was like, why isn't there a guide in there? And they just gave it to her. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come with one, but they're like, okay, here you go. There's lots of like samples and things in here. So that's kind of why I wanted it. And the tote bag is really nice as well. In all fairness. So the first thing we both spotted, there was actually peanut and pickle in there. So we have got little sample bottles. This is the neroli and grapefruit. Was there another one? Mm. Or was it just the one? It was just the one. Oh, there is bugger lugs, the other one. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, poison green bugger lugs. So it, it's like, we got some samples of this last year as well. They were literally just handing it out, but it doesn't actually say on the bottle what it does. Like, what type of shampoo is it? Is it sensitive? Is it degreasing? Like, what is it for? I would love to know, like, without having to look it up on the website. Oh, it smells nice. It's like a green apple. It's nice. So, what are you? Zewi Peak? Tripe and lamb? Oh, no. Tripe stinks. If you've never done raw food, it stinks. Uh, lamb tripe, lamb lung, lamb heart lamb lamb liver lamb bone uh, new zealand green mussel that's really good mm. wow okay nice horizon snack mix that's quite a big bag as well uh complimentary feed for adults 18 percent fresh chicken breast 17 percent fresh chicken liver fresh beef liver fresh lamb meat these are actually surprising are they good. treats yeah uh well i or, think so they mix on it mix snacks mix I think they're treats. Yeah. Applause taste toppers in gravy. So this doesn't look as good. I might be wrong. Oh no, okay. Chicken breast, white beans, pumpkin peas, vegetable gelling agent, and that's it. Where's where's all these nice brands coming from? Eden. Yes, we like Eden. Yes. Eden has a really beautiful stand as well. I um, filmed it for TikTok. Gorgeous stand. Uh, Eden, I already know this is good. 36% uh, duck, 18% uh, dried duck, sweet potato, vegetable glycerine, tripe, <laughs> poultry liver, tapioca, chickpea, coconut oil, pumpkin. Nice. Fish for dogs. They're all right, aren't they? Mm. 
Yeah, fish for dogs finest, uh, sardine with sweet potato, a complete grain free recipe, so that's kibble. I'll probably use this. You know what, Alfie's training treats. These are like a perfect, perfect size for that. Sardine, salmon meal, sweet potato, pea starch, beet pulp, salmon oil, nice. They've got rid of like all the, oh no, never mind. Good boy? No. <laughs> so I have got good boy, super delicious chicken with apple and cranberry bones. That's not bad. Really? Chicken breast, pea protein, vegetable glycerin, sorbitol, apple, cranberry, cornstarch, salt. I thought that wasn't that good of a brand. Good Boy also sell chocolate buttons for dogs. Yeah, I remember that. So as a whole, as a brand, I don't think they're all healthy. Yeah, so they've got that like better product. options. And then I have got Webox Poison. tidbits for cats. I don't have a cat. Chicken salmon, salmon bonito. How is bonito? Potato starch, peanut protein, yeast extract. Mm. So not terrible, but I don't have a cat. So. I fully expected the word derivatives to be on the last one. I know, honestly, I was expecting it all to be junk because obviously like treats and food that contains derivatives is really cheap to produce. So it's cheap to like make samples out of. But this is all like actually like good food. I think this was worth the 20 quid. And um, then there's I just lots of probably vouchers, leaflets. This was actually a success. I was expecting it to be a bit rubbish, but I'm actually pretty pleased. It's a free poo bag sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, it comes in an envelope. I've never seen a poo bag come in an envelope. Yeah, I know. That's that fancy. Is weird. Can I just get a walk? <laughs> yeah, it's just a poo bag in there, in like a little leaflet. Is it a, is it a horrible sea really feeling? Yeah, it's like a. Um, you know, you get those produce bags from like supermarkets that are biodegradable. It feels like that, like a nappy bag, kind of, yeah. Okay, cool. That was a success. And now that we're done for the day, I'm going to remove my hair. So um, over the summer last year, I had some bleach damage, unfortunately. So I lost my beautiful blonde long hair. So this is not mine. <laughs> Ta-da! That actually, oh, that feels so nice. I can scratch my head. Oh. So I've literally just got like a halo. Very handy, very nice. Easy to put on. I don't like extensions because I think they're a faff, but this was nice. But we're gonna go and get some dinner. We're gonna have a glass of wine, maybe have a face mask and go to bed early because we are tired. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is Friday. It is about eight o'clock. We've just got to the NEC car park. Um, eventful drive over here again like there was no accident but we nearly had one um one of the lanes on the m6 is completely covered in snow we were on it for a little bit and then decided you know what no this is terrifying we came off that we were next to that snow covered lane and this idiot in like a ford pickup whatever it was just steamed through it and all the snow just came onto our car and covered our windshield it was terrifying and we had a lorry behind us as well that could have ended so badly we do have a dash cam so if i can get the footage out of that i will put it here but scary so let's get to the nec we just stopped at the uk sniffer dog stand just to sort of watch a bit of uh nose work um if you're interested in any of that they do an online academy as well for just you know home-based online behavior training uh just basic obedience anything like that i'll link all the details down below if you're interested um it's fascinating watching just their noses work and their brain work and that is really rewarding for the dogs as well so definitely look into that if you're interested at all in any kind of extra training for your dog because you don't necessarily just have to walk your dog to wear them out if you get their brain going it's really really good for them so this has been a really good stop guys if you're into curry check out mighty spice they are absolutely amazing they're basically just a ready-made curry spice blend so you just chuck in your meat or veg um i use coconut milk but you can do cream of water and then rice whatever you want they are delicious i found this guy uh, last year at crofts and i've been buying them ever since they are delicious you know after a while it all gets really confusing like where are we i feel like we've kind of gone around the same thing like five times by now so it's confusing there's so much to do the second you stop to chat with someone you lose track of where you were and where you were going and what you've already seen so we're trying to find wisdom panel they're doing some kind of game like i guess the breed game so i'm gonna try and find them next we've just found the game the queue is ridiculous so maybe not 
I just did a U move game and I won a car sticker for a car that doesn't exist. So on to the next thing. Okay, as it turns out, it's like a competition thing. So you need to do the wisdom panel game. There's a spin to win behind me. We've just done like a, a photo op thing and then there's something else like behind me on the other side. So we're gonna do that and enter into a competition to win stuff. I think it was a year's worth of James World well Beloved, which is phenomenal. A year's, you know, supply of food. Amazing. So let's see how this goes. Well, it turns out we both have unsteady hands. Oh well, <laughs> what can you do? Right, uh, we have filled our little scorecard, so we're just gonna go hand it in for a goodie bag. Ooh, thank you. That's oh, awesome, yeah, though. Nice. Ooh. I have found my dream, guys. This is a Channel 4 little section where they do a lot of interviews and everything. Uh, one day, I would love to sit there and chat about dogs and crafts. This is incredible. I mean, I wouldn't mind being behind the either do some camera work but one can dream maybe one day that is my scissor shopping done I've got three pairs of scissors from Pro Sharp um, I will again go through all of this once I do the crafts haul but very pleased with that very reasonable prices as well so really recommend that and they feel amazing as well quality wise okay we have just come from the clip it stand I have got a couple of little goodies from Paula thank you um, they have got this amazing new clipper called the Clipper Quattro amazingly silent it does come with its own blades so that's like the one downside for me because I have got millions of blades wide blades everything like that so I might invest in it though because it's so quiet. We do so many nervous dogs that it would be amazing for that. But we are both knackered. We need our lunch. So we're gonna head to the main arena to watch some agility and some play ball. And then maybe call it a day after that. Yeah, we're tired, we're old. Good morning, it is Saturday morning. Uh, we are here really early. It's like 20 to eight. Um, our hotel didn't start breakfast until 7.30 today. So we're like, no, that's not enough time. We're going in early and finding food elsewhere. Um, not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film today apart from like a montage style thing. It is terrier and hound day. So lots of noisy dogs, lots of barking and it's gonna be heaving in there as well because it's Saturday. So I'm not sure how much I wanna swing my camera around but we'll see how this goes. Let's go get some breakfast. weekend but it's 9.23 my shoulder was already hurting from all the shampoos I've got so not happening I'd rather spend a couple quid on the clock room and be pain free so we're heading to the arena now to watch some goldies and some police dogs so that'll be really fun it's going to be far too loud in the arena for me to film any chatty bits so I'm just going to lay over a bit of a montage of me crying for goldies
Well, that is it for us. We both hit about half past one, I think, and kind of went, had enough, let's go home. The amount of people in there is unbelievable. It's shoulder to shoulder at some point. People stop in the middle of the aisles as well, with trolleys, with buggies, with dogs, with everything. So it's just very anxiety inducing in there. So if you're a bit of an anxious person, don't like the interaction, don't go on a Saturday. Um, it was nowhere near this busy last year, but obviously that was still like after COVID, um, cautious people and stuff like that. So it was tolerable last year. I'm kind of glad we got everything done we wanted and we've seen the Goldies, we've seen the police dogs, uh, seen a lot of flyball agility and everything, spoke with a lot of people. So thank you to everyone who stopped by. If you saw me, all the people at the stands we spoke to, it's been a really great weekend again and I'm sure I'll forget about feeling really drained and panicked by this time next year and I'll be like, yeah, let's go for the whole weekend. Thank you so much for tagging along. This was probably a really, really, really long video, but thank you so much for watching. A little thumbs up as always is very helpful to my channel. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss the crafts haul that's out next week. Bye guys.